Hey, what's up, Tubes? Um, it's me, Mike. Uh, and I, I want to do an update. Um, I haven't been making any videos lately. Um, and the reason being is... Uh, I actually had surgery about four days ago. Uh, Thursday, today's Sunday. Um, I had a inguinal hernia. And I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's what it was. Uh... And it's where, it's it's like right here, and it's 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 where like your intestines or maybe some fatty tissue underneath start to push out between the muscle, and kind of creates a, a bulge. And uh, honestly, I've been dealing with it for probably five years, and um, the thing was, I, I I was just scared to death to have it checked out, um, and surgery is scary you know scary for everybody uh and i'm no exception uh I, I was terrified to the point where i didn't have it done for a long time so anyways i figured i'd make this video for anybody that uh, is dealing with the same thing um and needs to go have surgery or well yeah i mean if you got a hernia you need to go have surgery um but anyways uh, you know, at first I was scared to have it checked out. You know, I'm not a big fan of going into a brightly lit room and then pulling my pants down for, you know, a strange man. So that was the first obstacle I had to overcome. And, um, you know, finally I ended up did it, doing it with uh, the help of my girlfriend getting on my case. You know, I, I was at a point where... Uh, it was bothering me, and I couldn't work anymore, and I was laid up on the couch, and uh, that wasn't working for me because, you know, I got a lot of work I got to do. So anyways, I finally went and had it checked out, and um, they set up a surgery for me, and, uh, you know, luckily my surgeon was really nice, but uh, I was still very scared. Uh, I just am terrified about going under the knife. I don't like being put to sleep, any of that. Um... But yeah, they, they said it was going to be really painful as soon as I woke up from surgery. So I was obviously scared about that too. Um, but, you know, I had a lot of time to think about it laying on the couch for a couple of weeks waiting for surgery. Uh, plus, you know, I've been putting it off for a long time. So I've been going over it in my head, you know, a lot and the bad things that could possibly happen. Um, but anyways, I went and... I went to the hospital to get ready for surgery and luckily the nurses and stuff were, you know, nice and comforting and uh, the anesthesiologist came in <clears throat> and gave me the shot of whatever it is that they put you out with and uh, that was another fear that they were going to give me that and it wasn't going to put me to sleep or anything um, or that it wouldn't work great and I would wake up or, you know, who knows, lots of, lots of things were going through my head. But it did. It, I don't remember getting tired. I just fell asleep, which was awesome um, because I had ankle surgery um, a couple years back. I broke my ankle on a jet ski. And that's trying to splash some ducks and I hit a sandbar. Stupid, stupid, stupid decisions. But, you know, that's what happens in life. You, you live, you learn. Just like um, I learned to be more cautious on the jet ski after that situation. Uh, with this, I learned, you know, ask for help. Don't be straining yourself. I mean, I'm sure I got a hernia from uh, just trying to power through lifting things that I shouldn't have been lifting. Um, but you live, you learn. If you don't, well, you ain't gonna survive. So, um, so yeah, they, they put me under and, you know, and I went to sleep and woke up. They said I was going to be in a lot of pain when I woke up, honestly, in comparison to my ankle surgery, which was excruciating after the surgery. I mean, painful, very, very painful. Um, this was not bad. Uh, I actually woke up and it was just kind of tight and uncomfortable. Um, Nowhere near the pain level I thought it was going to be. But everything went pretty well. Uh, I'll 
I'll actually show you the cut they did. It's a little tough standing up. It's tight, you know. So there's there it is. Like I said, um, you know, it wasn't wasn't that bad. Uh, there's a couple different ways they can do it. They can go in with tools, I guess, or they can use their hands. With me, uh, my surgeon used his hands. Um, they didn't stitch it. They just glued it back together, which is nice because I won't have a, a huge scar from stitches and stuff, which I have on my ankle, and it's not very pleasant looking. But so I woke up, and um, it wasn't bad. You know, they had me stand up, and it was tough to, you know, get my clothes on and get ready to leave. I was only in the hospital for about three hours. Uh, the surgery was, you know, less than an hour, I think. Um, but my biggest fear was waking up and, you know, something went wrong, and I was going to wake up to a mess of problems, basically. And, you know, that didn't happen, so... That was good. Um, you know, I had a really positive attitude going in, and I think that helps a lot, too. Um, so, uh, once I got home, well, I had to get compression under armor, which they recommended. So, on the way home, we stopped at Dick's and picked up some Nike uh, under armor because they give you like a jock strap thing, which is uncomfortable and just kind of weird um, so I stopped and got some Under Armour and I've always worn boxers uh, well I guess those days are over uh, for now on I guess I'm gonna go get Under Armour which was pretty expensive I recommend getting it before the surgery so you just have it for after uh, they want it to keep everything tight and you know in place um, and Anyways, uh, so I got home and laid down, and it, it wasn't bad. Honestly, the uh, most painful part of it is trying to stand up after laying down. It's tough. It's tight, and it's awkward, and it feels like stomach cramps. Um, but, you know, they tell you, you know, you got to do it. Uh, and then once you stand up, Talking, breathing also is hard once you're standing up because it's so tight once you stretch out all the way up. It's, it's, it's hard to breathe, at least for the first couple days. But I tell you what, it, it heals quick. The pain goes away really fast. Uh, make sure you got ice packets. Um, half hour ice packet, 15 minutes off. Do that for a couple days, you know. Uh, it really helps with the swelling and everything. I think the second day... After the surgery, uh, I woke up and I went to use the bathroom and I noticed a lot of purple bruising all around, um, all on my junk, you know, not cool. It was scary, but yeah, I did some looking up and, um, it's common, you know, 90% of people end up with a lot of bruising in weird places. Uh, so that made me feel a lot better because that was scary. Um, but it wasn't that bad, not much bruising, but enough to where I was like, oh, what the, what the hell's going on here? You got a problem? But um, it heals quick. You know, the third day I was up walking around the yard. Um, today's the fourth day. And I mean, I'm, I can't lift anything for a few weeks bigger than a carton of milk. But, you know, at least I can get back out and uh, walk around, which honestly, before the surgery... I was having trouble walking around in general. I mean, it was, it, I, I don't want to call it pain, but it was pressure. It was just a lot of pressure. But yeah, so um, my advice, when you get home from the, the hospital, take it easy. Just take it easy. Just lay up on the couch, watch YouTube videos, you know, check out some good movies. Uh, I watched... Garden State, which was awesome. I've never seen it before. Awesome. Uh, 12 Monkeys, another really good movie. Um, and then some classics, Days and Confused, you know, of course. Uh, but yeah, just just stay laid up, icing yourself, use the painkillers as they prescribe. You know, it might seem like there's not much pain, but I guarantee you, if you wait and try to tough it out and say, oh, this isn't bad, it'll catch up to you. And at that point, 
it's hard to get back on top of it. So, you know, take the painkillers as they say. Even if you don't really feel like you need to, do it. Because you don't want that pain sneaking up on you and then you can't get rid of it, you know. So, um, standing up is the hardest part. Don't use your stomach to stand up. Don't use your stomach muscles. You know, use your hands. Put your hands back and, you know, push up and, you know, like, you know, like that. Don't, don't strain yourself. The last thing you want is for that shit to rip out and you to be back in there dealing with it because the second time around, I've heard it's not fun. So they said there was only like a 1% chance of any complications. So your chances of complication are really low. Uh, and if you know somebody that has had complications, well, your chances are even lower. Uh, you know, ask your doctor if he's ever had a surgery that has had complications. I mean, if it's 1% chance and he says yes, well, you're pretty much in the clear, you know. Um, my surgeon said he had never had any um, complications. So that's a little scary because that 1% was still waiting. Could have been me. Luckily, it wasn't so far. Um, don't do anything strenuous. Just wait. Just wait. It's not worth it to do anything. Just chill on that couch and, uh, you know, just watch movies and wait. But, but, yeah, I just figured I'd make this video for anybody that maybe has a hernia and needs to have it taken care of, maybe is getting ready to go have hernia surgery, uh, or already has. You know, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Um, I'll answer whatever I can. Um, if you're scared, you know, understandably, don't be, it's, it's, it's not too bad. Uh, I promise you it's, it's not as bad as, as you've got it worked up in your head to be. Um, don't put it off. If, if you have a hernia and you're just putting it off and putting it off, don't. That's what I did. And even though I didn't have any problems, I could have really messed myself up. Um, just have it taken care of. It's quick, painless. You'll be back on your feet in no time. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess that's, that's really all I can think of. Um, you know, leave your comments below, any questions, uh, your experience, how did, how did your surgery go? If you had it done, how was your experience? Um, and yeah, I hope to be back up and running and making some more fix it videos and you know, enjoying life again. It's summertime, so I'm a little pissed off that I can't really do much, but you know what? I'm not in pain anymore. I'll take it. I'll take it. So, all right, guys. Well, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, good luck if, with your surgery if you're about to go have it. Um, and have a nice day. Later, guys.